Okay, Maxine. I'm doing all I can. Stop it. <laughs> all right. Don't tire her. I'm saying she don't feel as if it's a tradition here. Yeah. It's not a tradition. Her skirt is long. Okay. Okay, see me. Yes, Mama. That's the problem that is following you. I know. He said, and I meditated, I've seen that person. You've seen the person? He supported me with money to buy my machine. He supported money to buy a person, a machine. Okay, so what you need to do now is to... So, where's your child? He's at home. The child is at home? Yes, Mama. Okay. Wow. I'm going to forgive the father of your child. <laughs> Why are you saying no? Are you shocked that I'm telling you this or you are saying no because it's difficult to forgive? Is it difficult? Why well, don't cry? Don't cry, don't cry. Amen. Don't cry. That's why we are there. So make sure we correct the mistakes people have made and direct their future. Because I saw you bring God to help you, to bless you. To bless you. One of your major prayer points is in the area of marriage. Praying that God should bless you, bless you, bless you. But if we don't talk about these things, they are still going to affect your life. Forgive him. He abused you. He abused you. It's okay. I know he abused you. No, you don't laugh. You don't know the pain she's went through. It's so painful. It's better you break your hand than for somebody to hurt your heart. Amen. Amen. So important. This what you are doing here, you can see it to be very small, but it's very big. Because this small thing in her life can stop her life. Everything that she's supposed to be enjoying in life can stop it. And to her, she might think she's enjoying doing so or living like that and praying for God to bless. Whereas there is something small that she has neglected, she's neglecting and that is causing everything. You got to forgive him. Yeah? Right. Have you seen me before? No. You've not seen me before. I'm going to forgive you. I saw you on the sticker. Which a friend of mine published uh, a sticker on Facebook. Okay, That's you saw it then. Then who brought you here today? Just that as I went to Duala, my cousin brought me to that church. Yeah. I decided to give my life to Christ, and this is the change that came up to my mind. I think. Amen. Did you didn't know this church before? He told me about this church. Okay. No. Somebody just told you. Mm -hmm. He's not alone. Okay, some people have been telling you. So around him. Okay. He's a Christian in this church. He's a Christian in this church. Who is that person? A Dennis. A Dennis. What is Dennis? He has not come today. He has traveled. He's ah, yeah, now in Bamenda. Ah, Dennis has won his soul. Clap for him. I saw you and I saw Muslims around you. I'm a seamstress in profession. Uh -huh. My neighbor is a Muslim. Yeah, he is having is. a cafeteria just close to my workshop. And how do I know? It's God. It's God. Wow. Okay. <laughs> 